Coolbyte works the best for me because it lets me get back to doing more research. Hi, I'm Craig Yoshioka. I'm a co-director of the Pacific Northwest Cryo-EM Center. And really it goes back to when I was an undergraduate where we had a guest lecturer with an X-ray crystallographer. I was like, well, that seems pretty cool. I think it's amazing realizing that we can look at the neuroatomic structure of proteins. We can actually see what they look like. Kuwait is important to our work because as a methodology that uses and generates a lot of data, being able to store and process that data quickly is of critical importance. The biggest way they achieve it is it's architected as a distributed file system. So there's not any one single server handling all the load. In the case of Quobite, you can scale up. We currently have eight servers. Of those eight servers, we can lose an entire server and all the disks on it. And things from the perspective of data collection and processing keep going as if nothing ever happened. That's the biggest reason. That's also the secret behind scaling some of the performance. So no longer does one microscope have to speak to one storage server. That that load might be distributed across eight servers, which can let us scale up data processing and data collection. A typical data set is a day long, maybe two days long worth of data collection, and it'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of two to six terabytes per day. That adds up pretty quickly. Our current run rate for the year is we collect around four to five petabytes per year of raw data. You might imagine that if you're having to do a lot of processing on that data, a lot of intermediate files get generated. It's not uncommon to more than double the amount of disk space used just from trying to process a data set. And that is no longer linear reads and write friendly data. That's a lot of more random IO. Kubite helps us get our work done more reliably. It helps us get our work done faster. I love playing an official IT person, but I'm at the end of the day a researcher, and I should be getting back to doing more research.